right, so we just recently did a video showing how to find the manufacturer year for your SA-22. While we had them all sitting out, we thought if we'd do a quick video on the different grades that they came out with. Let's start with this one. This one here is a, a top loader. This is the most plain Jane semi-auto 22 that you get. It's originally a John Moses Browning design, but this is the most basic gun. There's no checkering on the wood, just a slick slide on the receiver, no engraving. Same thing on the form, no checkering. It, it's the most basic SA-22 that you can basically get, so, but it's known as a top loader because the hole back here on the top. But that is the most basic gun there is. So we thought we'd show you that one. Then in 56, they came out with the SA-22 Auto Takedown. You know it by numerous names. But this is your grade one model, and they, they stepped up the game quite a bit on it. First of all, they did the checkering on the stock and your grade one pattern, checkering on the form, and of course on the engraving, they did the scroll pattern on the sides. Nice little touch, it, you know, that's all hand engraved, it's all hand checkered. They did a really nice job with these guns. But that's your grade one. That's a Belgium gun. Both those guns were Belgium, obviously. Here's a third one. This is a Belgium. This is your grade two. Now, if you look closely, the line per inch on the checkering is just a little bit finer, and the figure in the wood is just a skosh nicer. And if you take a real close look at this receiver, you'll notice squirrels on one side, groundhogs on the other. This one here, and you'll see the bird on top, the duck. And if you look real close, I don't know if the camera guy can get it or not, but this one was actually signed. Uh, some of these grade twos were signed. I don't see many like that, but this one is. And on the other side, they so had squirrels on one side, groundhogs on the other. And that's your grade two. And like I said, the stock was a little bit, a little bit nicer on the figuring, and the lines per inch is just a skosh better. All right, now here's your grade three. The engraving is much more elaborate on a grade three. This one here is an Angelo B upgrade. He did the metal, of course, he did all the engraving. We took care of the wood on it. We did the bluing on the barrel, but Angelo did the engraving. And if you pay attention, on the stock, you have your skip line checkering, gold trigger, which they did that on the grade twos as well. The grade ones would have a blue trigger. And of course, if you look at the engraving, much more elaborate. Let me flip it over to the other side where you can see. Andrew did a really nice job with this gun. And that's your grade three. Now, there is a grade four which looks just like this, but the animals are in gold. I don't have one in here to show you right now, but if you ever see one that looks like a grade three with gold, that's technically a grade four, and I've had a couple of those pass through the shop, but those are pretty few and far in between. Now here's a neat one. This is an old Angelo B upgrade. When you first look at it, you might think it's a grade three, but this is actually a custom pattern. Now they use grade three wood on it with a skip line checkering, and then it, the engraving is much more ornate on the scroll work and the animals. I'll show you the top of it. And you can even see the collar on the dog. I don't know if you get a close enough view where you can see that. But Angelo, this is also an Angelo B upgrade. But there's all kinds of custom 22s. There's been guys upgrading 22s. I'm going to lay these side by side. And they're going to look very similar. Let's see if the camera guy can get both of them in there. But Angelo did a really nice job on both those pieces. And everything I've shown you so far were Belgium guns. The Japanese, they did make a grade one, a grade two. And they also made a grade three. Oh, I'm sorry. They made a grade six. They did make a grade three, but it looks just like the Belgium gun. Here's your grade six. Now, this is not hand engraved. When you lay it next to a hand engraved gun, you can just see the, the difference in the depth of the engraving. And they didn't do real gold on these. That's actually a 
a, a brush process than they did. It's a plating process. And that's your grade six. Well, those are your different grades of 22s that they made. So maybe if you see one at a gun show or come across one at a pawn shop or gun shop, you'll know what it is when you come across it. But no, that's what we got for you. Anything else, just give us a phone call and thanks for watching.